Okay, welcome back to the darkness. It is time for us to head into a place that already has gunfire going on, apparently. Great. Oh. Oh. Those are people. Do they have guns? Nope, just normal people. Leaving the Whitefish Pool Annual Tournament. Hey, can you tell me about that? Experience is what you get when you didn't get what you wanted. One man with courage. What the hell? I'm leaving now, right this very second. I am not participating in this. Okay, first I gotta ask, what are you doing? Okay, I can't talk to her. I'm like, I like pressing A and everything. Whoa, shit! I knew they were suspicious! How dare you! Ah. That's bullshit! I am death all one. Right, okay. What the fuck? What the? They just kill this guy? Walk off? Okay. These guys are definitely not any kind of innocent. I mean, obviously they shot the shit out of me, so, uh, this time around... Experience is key! Oh! Wow! They dropped my ass hard. Death cannot reach you. Fine. We'll let them walk around. And then we're gonna go darkness mode on these motherfuckers. Sup? So, yeah, dope. Just investigating the area. Heard noises, things like that. One man with courage makes a majority. If you live long enough, you'll see that every victory turns to defeat. We're always paid for our suspicion by finding out what we least expect. I know. Like, how can we expect everyone to be innocent? When they're not! You want some of this? Too bad! You gotta be faster on the draw, friend! Like you are in other lives! Oh, but not this one, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. I've got a lot of hearts. You'd expect me to not really have all too many, but yeah, no, I got quite a lot. What's up? Come on, Berserker. Yeah, yeah, you like penguins. Come on. I don't know what's gonna be back here, but at least it's dark. We can embrace the darkness. Okay, so, uh, after navigating around the other area for a while, turns out I was in the wrong place. And I figured it out pretty quickly. It was just like, I was like, okay, so I guess I wasn't supposed to come here. I'm just used to, you know, more monsters being relatively condensed in the way that the places that you go are the places that you go. And so I went to the only, I, I, generally, I guess it's just common game design to block off a path you shouldn't be going to yet, but hey, whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and get this berserker. And I'm pretty- like, this is Whitefish, uh, this is Whitefish Alley. Right here, this entire street. So I don't know if I have to go that way or this way, but this is a little bit open. So I'm gonna navigate- oh, shit! Around. And get attacked by cops again, so yeah, I guess we were supposed to go here. Man, what a fucking stupid section. And I, I, I mean that in like the way of you're chasing me down with helicopters and cops and shit and you got me panicking and like I don't know where the fuck to go but I figure that the cops are trying to like lead me into a specific area and I'm like okay well there's nothing down that way because it's blocked off so I'm gonna go over there. Meanwhile it's this random ass fucking fence that's really not super you know in the way to notice. I mean obviously you know there's a light here to kind of guide your eye to it but I'm not fucking noticing that when I'm getting shot by a helicopter. I'm just saying, in terms of game design, that was kind of stupid, but, uh... 
Now we're here. So we'll summon another berserker and head on down to the whitefish pool. Yeah, here we go. Listen, the best way to my Uncle Paulie's heart is through his rib cage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on him. Now, I've been all over town picking up Paulie's drug money from his street peddlers, but I've never been to Dutch Oven Harry's. Yeah, obviously, you never even heard of the guy before this. Sup? Are we good? I don't know, you guys kind of look familiar. Like, uh... Ask you a question. Like, maybe sure. you're gonna attack me. Okay. Hypothetically speaking, right? Would a moose have sex with me if I gave it ten million dollars? What? Well, that's a lot of money. So, would it? Well, I guess it would depend on the moose. If it was a genetically altered moose, with the brain power equal to a human, and capable of speech, I'd have to say yes. Yeah, I agree with okay. him. Okay. And where would I find such horny, naughty mooses as... Hmm. Sweden, most likely. And everybody knows that the Swedes are open-minded when it comes to sex. Cross-species sex, too, I'm sure. Yeah, What's the word? those filthy Swedes. God bless them. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, time to go to Sweden. <laughs> Gotta go fuck a moose. All good? No, I'm not all good. You, you just told your friend to go to Sweden to go fuck a moose for ten million dollars. He could- the moose would do it for free, if he could find an appropriate moose for it. Howdy. Why don't the ladies ever want to talk to me? I mean, I don't want to talk to them, but I'm just like... I just talk to everybody. Or maybe I should go in- hello. What do I look like with this? Wow, my eyes are glowing and everything? That's, uh... Huh. That's kind of... Super creepy. Oh! I think the light killed my darkness. Yeah, the light killed my darkness! That's cute. Okay. If you want to live a normal life, just stay in the darkness. Forever. I mean, no. Stay in the light. Forever. What say you slip me a couple of bucks, hey? Huh? I gotta take a train. Say, you got any liquor on you? No. But what about Dutch Oven Harry? Sorry, pal. I'm dry. Hey, you know Dutch Oven Harry? Oh, you, you wanna get wired up? <laughs> you go by the side door and tell him old Maddie Forehand sent you. If they ask, you say, hit me. And then they bring the really good shit. Now, now, you make sure not to point any guns in their general direction. I don't want to get caught in a crossfire. Then you better, like, stay back here. Uh, cause that's exactly what I'm planning to do. If they ask for the password, just say, hit me. And keep them guns in your drawers. Oh, he knows about my guns. Okay. I hope you're right. Password is hit me. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking great password. 666. The number on my butt. The devil owns your ass? I mean... Alright. Make your master. Wouldn't I be the knight's master? I mean... It Gives me energy and everything like that. I still don't know what you are. Obviously, you're like a demon thing. What's the password? Tell him what he wants to hear. Hit me. I gotta see Dutch Oven Harry. Come on in. Harry ain't around. You want something? Talk to Roach. Yes, these fools don't know what I look like. Hmm. <laughs> Don't just stick around. You want something? Hey, hey I'm talking Bobby. to you. You... You said go in there. What are you, fucking crazy? I got a date with that stripper, Camille. From the Pink Pony? The one with the huge tits? Now you tell him I ain't doing it. 
<laughs> yeah. Nice try. Right? You tell him. I've grown attached to my testicles over the years, and I'm planning on keeping them. All right, fine. I'll do it. Tell him I'm on it. Hey, you know Camille's really a guy, don't you? Yeah. So? Hey, buddy. I never seen you here before. Yeah, I'm a newcomer. Don't just stand there. Come in, buy, and leave. Roach is in the back room. Okay. Back room, amigo. I like how everybody's like really accepting in this game. People want to fuck moose? Yeah, hey man, that's okay. Go to Sweden for it. Hey, want to fuck a guy with huge tits? Say, hey, go for it. Rounds. What do you what do you mean? That's like some kind of Hollywood suspend your disbelief kind of stuff. Who gives a shit? There's a slow mo bit where he spits on his gravestone, and then he takes off on his huge badass Harley. Greatest moment in the Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, apparently you can change the channel of these TVs. I probably could have done that when I was with the girlfriend. Probably should have done that when I was with the girlfriend. Hey, get a move on it, I bow. I got a hot date tonight with a couple of Chino's girls. Yeah, everyone's got a date I got tonight. Everything. What do you need? I need this bomb. Oh no, it's cocaine. Okay. I need Harry. Where is he? You got some nerve, kid. Gandhi. Why? Why? Why did I get that? Find a peaceful solution, at least momentarily. Really? That was peaceful? Hey, Roach. What's up, Harry? Just got a call from the boss. Someone's coming to pay us a visit. Oh. He's already here. Harry, you want me to bring out the hard liquor? Oh, Christ. Okay, Roach, you do that. I'm sure he needs a sh- Jesus Christ! No, don't do it! No! Ah, eat it! <laughs> I was really hoping he died really fast. Oh shit! Yes! They gave me SMGs! That didn't last very long. That's okay, whatever. I'm gonna stay in the darkness. I'm gonna Berserker to go kill them. Maybe even devour harder through. Hey! You shot your friend. Good job. I guess you guys ain't going to, uh, going on a date with Camille. That's a shame. Strippers need love too, you know? Ow, oh, he was an asshole. I'm saving her from a life of crime. Not that strippers would be entirely separated from this kind of life, but still. Oh, yes. Yeah, Roach. Play Roach. Sure, Harry. Take it easy. I killed them myself. Sure thing, Roach. Why did you come up to my office? No more discussion. He's surrounded. He's around here somewhere. <laughs> that wasn't even trying to pretend to be Roach. That was just like talking. Oh, uh, you, you came in here by yourself, checked out the area, and then got yourself killed. Good job. Okay, so where's his office? Obviously, it might be outside, but maybe there's an upstairs area. Are you dead yet? Do I... Let's see. Can I get in this? No, alright. We must ascend upstairs! As soon as we find either a staircase inside, which I don't think there is, or we go outside. Oh, hey, buddies! Wow, he's still alive? That was a full on shotgun blast! Hey, 
I need to regenerate my darkness, so get out of here. Aha! So I'm out of ammo for my pistol? No, I was just okay. Right? No, I still have pistol ammo. Okay. It was just being weird. Oh yeah, look at this climbing animation. Oh, so strange. Did I get anything with that darkness level? Let's see. I don't know what the darkness stuff does, man. Your darkness energy to play the stand and light. Use the darkness power your chance to take damage. Seek a that. Yep, just keep on eating hearts. I don't know anything about this game. I'm still lost, confused. Things just kind of happen, and we're killing people and talking with funny accents. Hope you said your goodbyes to Sister Mary. Maybe. Fucking posers. My first time on Mars was a disappointment. The creatures up there were, if possible, even more pathetic than the ordinary fucked up human back down on planet Earth. And the whores were ugly. And the beer was warm. Well, at least I didn't have any problems creating a name for myself. Who the fuck? So here I am again. And again and again and again. I'm on Mars with all the stars. We're all driving fancy- we're all driving around in fancy cars. I'm famous here on Mars with all the stars. And then it points down to here? Right, okay. Well, no, keep on talking. I like listening to your conversations. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow! I offer no escape. So we just have... <laughs> okay. Kill them, Berserker! And then, oh, there's a light directly above me. It seemed like this was just a, re like a really dark corner. Alright, what do we have in here? Ammo? No, not really. You'd think a guy that's about to be fucking attacked would, uh, have a little bit more protection going on around him. Oh well, not like he had a lot of time to prepare. Hello, me. Stop that. We got a message for you. Oh. What are you doing? What? Did you just piss on his body? Ew. At least he left him on the couch. I got him in my sight. No, you don't. Oh, he's still alive! Eh, yeah, fix that problem. Oh! Die, really fix the problem. I'm getting the fuck out of here! I wonder if it's free to shoot these guys with the execution. Like, I just run up to them, kill them with it. Show no mercy. Okay, so you're telling me to show mercy. Yeah, he's back! Hey, Darkling, I got a little bit of food for you up here. Damn, there's so much light everywhere. Yeah, I'll stay in this corner. Uh-oh. Woo! He even used a little blade on his back. Damn. Yeah. Night is my master. I will stay here forever. 
And by forever, I mean like five minutes while I eat everybody. Why does it have to be their heart? Can't you like eat all of them? I mean, that seems like a little bit of a waste of resources. What if they have a fucking heart filled with cancer? I swear there was a guy up here, but this one is evil. Blow it up, holy. Blow up the holy shit! What the hell? I'm lifting myself up with the darkness itself. Oh, he fell down and died. What the? Should I go down? I mean, that seems like a bad idea. They just suddenly jumped down into a train track. Oh, I didn't take any damage. Speed me. Okay. This guy's evil, and we e we ate his evil heart. Oh, you have found a gunner, Darkling. Neat. Oh, shoot your trick! Well, okay, I'm impressed by the amount of damage you can do, but was that necessary? I guess to allow me to go this way, sure. They burn Jackie. All the little ones. Such delicate torture of the body and soul. I really don't know what you're talking about. In fact, we don't even talk to each other. That's even more weird. Call me, asshole! Bolly. Ah, that's cute. You think I'm gonna call you? Uncle Polly's pretty much a scumbag. Not that anyone has the balls to tell him to his face. Polly took me out of an orphanage I lived in after my parents died. It's kind of like being rescued from a shock attack by a grizzly bear. The only reason he took me in was because he needed another hitman. We never did see eye to eye. Are you gonna... Are you gonna mention... Things on your back? All you said was... You gotta expect the unexpected. And that's it. Oh, we're, here, we're back here. Call me, Jenny! Oh, Jenny, yeah, sure, I'd love to call you. Why not? What's up, old guy? So many die. All these rotting in the rain. I hear the screams even now. Always. Screams of dying. Cries of the damned. Always the screams of the dying. Cries. Always the screams of the dying. Cries of the damned. Okay, buddy. Always. I'm leaving. Yes, yeah, screams of the dying, cries of the damned. Boy. Well, I guess I gotta go find myself a phone. Hopefully one that isn't all messed up like the ones that were outside. I got a lot of phone numbers to call, but we're gonna start with Jenny. Jackie, did you hear on the news about St. Mary's Orphanage? Oh god, it's so horrible. That was our home, Jackie. What? Yeah. I don't know what to do or feel about it. All I know is that it's evil. Where are you? I'm at home, but I'm going by there right now to see if there's anything I can do to help. Jimmy's picking me up. Can we meet at Fulton Street by the exit to the orphanage? You can take the train from Canal and be at Fulton in a minute. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, I don't remember anything talking about the orphanage getting burned, but I guess maybe I'm just not paying attention. That's a lot of collectible phone numbers, holy shit. You fucking maggot! 
Anyone hurts Paulie Franchetti. I hurt him twice as bad in return. Three times as bad! Because I decide how this city works. You hear me? I hope you took a good look at the sky today. Because it's the last moment of peace you'll ever have in your very short and very miserable rest of your pointless fucking existence. Think of happy thoughts. Think of the people you love. Think of St. Mary's Orphanage for fucking imbecile children and the bomb that blew their retard brains to pieces. They're all dead, Jackie. Oh. So I want you to think of me. And never forget, this was all your fault. That's it? We're just gonna hang up on him? <laughs> that was how we were supposed to find out about the bomb blowing up? Okay.